But the Bible says, put me to remembrance. Man will put God to remembrance. God will remember. Oh yes, yeah, this is as if God is forgotten. No. God wants to know whether we are really doing what He wants us to do, whether we are obedient. The Bible says, search my scripture. For they are the ones that do what? They test that testify of me. He says, search. So when God said, put me to remembrance, God is testing us. God wants to know, are you searching? Because he says, search the scriptures. For they are the ones that testify of me. So God wants to know, are you searching the scripture? Because when you search the scripture, you are going to see what the spirit of God is saying. And the promises of God. And what God has in store for you. And somebody shout it big, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is our healing service. Our God is faithful and just. Our God is wonderful. And this healing service as well takes a lot of people away. Because they want you to do the way they think the healing service will be done. And I said, no. I am going to do the way Jesus Christ, God himself, told me to do. Amen. 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 I walk by the Spirit. And another said, leave the church. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Our God is a good God. So today, we're going to have a wonderful message. It's a great message. Remember this week, this month is the month of um, the law of God. And it, just you can see, he's touching the law. Pastor Jim touched on the law. And we are talking about the law of God. So I have to balance it now because we have to bring the understanding of balance diet. Balance diet. Bring everything to us. Amen. Amen. Okay, I want to start. And I will say today's message is why, you know, why did God give the commandment? Why did God give the ten? The ten commandments. Uh, Moses answered straight away in the first place. says that God gave you this commandment so that you will not sin. He says to the children, when they are asking, they Moses, don't let God speak to us again. Speak to us. Why is there is torturing? Why there is the great things happening when God was speaking? Earthquake and everything. The rock are crashing, everything. Speak to us. We don't want God is so fierce. It's awesome. Speak to us, Moses. And God said, as Moses said to the people, look, the reason why God is showing his power is for you to fear him and sin not. So that is number one. Amen. Then number two, we're gonna share, we're gonna discuss one today. Exodus chapter 8, from verse 1 to 4. Amen. Exodus chapter 8, from verse 1 to 4. The reason why God set the children of Israel free is because he was lacking one thing. He was lacking one thing. They're not giving him what he's desiring for them and what God wants each and every one of us to do in, in his kingdom. And that is what? Worship. And he said to them, And the Lord speak unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy all thy bodies with frogs, and the rivers shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thy house, and unto thy uh, and unto thy bed chambers, and upon thy bed. And unto the house of thy servants, and upon the people, and unto thy children, and unto thy uh, uh, meats, meetings, and verse 4, and the frog shall come up both on thee, and upon thy people, and upon all thy servants. The most important thing is that God is lacking the worship. He said that they will go and worship. I want them to go and be free to worship me. Because they don't have time to worship God. And God said, let my people go. I want them to be free to worship me. So whatever we are doing here today is giving God praise. We are worshiping God. Amen. Amen. 
God is happy. Can somebody give a clap up in Jesus? Say, let my people go. The devil will worship me. Say, let them go. They will serve me. They will worship me. The Bible says that God inhabits the praise, the worship of his people. So each time you are worshiping God, no matter, no, no wonder why when Paul and Silas was praying and worshiping God, great things do what? Happen. Amen. Amen. When Paul and Silas was praying and worshiping God, great things happen. So God said, Pharaoh, Moses, go. Tell Pharaoh. Let him let my people go that they will worship me. Right. And then the people, uh, by God's special grace, we know the history. The, the people of Israel go. And then what happened? They begin to worship God in the way that is not pleasing to God. And then God said, okay, I'm going to direct them. I'm going to make them to understand what I don't like. What is sin and what is not sin, so that they gonna worship me. Because the Bible says the two worshippers of God, they worship God in spirit and in truth. And this that brings us to point two in Psalm Psalm twenty four verse three. And the Bible says, "Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in His holy place?" Can you put verse four? Who shall ascend? And then he says, the one who cleans, who has his clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or sway by a false god. The one that has a pure heart, the one that has a clean hand. So when you lift up your hands to worship, God is seeing your hands. What is it? What have you done with your hands? Amen. God is looking from heaven. Is your hand clean? What about your heart? Is your heart pure? So God is looking. He says, that is a type of worship. That is from a true heart. And that's why. That is one song. It says, a pure heart. That's what I long for. Thou shalt not swear. 
And again, Psalm 100, verse 4, is telling us, he says, Enter away, enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. And then verse 38, verse 18 says to us, For he gives for the grave. I declare, verse 38, uh, Psalm 38, verse 18. He says, For I will declare my iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. Amen. Amen. But what I'm looking for is, you know, the word of God says, so for the grave cannot praise the Lord. Death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee. As I do this day. He said, the living, the living, who are the living? Those that are living right inside the spirit, those that are living in the spirit, they are the living that praises the Lord. Remember what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 from verse 17. The Bible says, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Amen. So the Bible says, In the day that thou eatest of it, thou shalt surely die. Because when you eat, when you sin, you die. Sin is death. Remember the wages of sin? Death. And the free gift of God is eternal life. Amen. And then Timothy chapter 1, 1 Timothy chapter, chapter 2 from verse 8 says, Therefore I want men everywhere, everywhere, praying. Lifting up holy hands without anger. Anybody with anger here today? You're with anger? We're going to rebuke that anger today in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Any other person with anger, tell us the truth. With anger for any reason, with anybody? Anger, anger, amen. Thank you. We're going to rebuke these angers. We have got three. Any other person with anger? With anger, God bless you, sister. For any other person with anger, Andrea, anger, no, amen. Any other person with anger, amen. We're gonna rebook this anger today, amen. The Bible says, without anger, without wrath, without doubting. Anyone doubting God today? Anyone doubting God? No. So we trusted. You're doubting God? Okay, two things. To so both anger and doubt. So we are going to rebook this. That's the healing. Thank God today is healing service. That's the healing. I tell you. You know, God revealed to me that you know, when you are angry with somebody, you become a slave. A slave of that person. Why should you be angry? The only thing that gives me joy that may, sometimes, even in the Bible, say, let not your anger stay overnight. God wants your anger to. You remember, God is, is, is an angry God. He's a loving God, but he has got anger. But he never let his anger stay too long. He says, God will never ever let his anger stay too long with his people. That's why he says, 
Meet you with left hand and then he will welcome you. Right? Now, you have been angry for all this time. It's time to welcome. Amen. Be like God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is true that the star is still there. The offense is still there. But what will it profit you to hold those grudges and miss the kingdom? And miss where you are going. Look at how many years you've been serving the Lord. I can assure you all of my life. You know, sometimes some people bring suggestions. I say to them, look, all of my life I have served God. Is it now you want me to go this way? I say, you must be joking. Amen. Amen. Look at how many years you serve God. Then it's going to just be only the anger. Please, now, from today, if you can't, we're going to pray for you right now. That's the best prayer we're going to pray. From today, you're going to welcome. You're going to welcome. There is one brother that's come to prayers, and I said to him, so look, I, I, I can see you have an anger in you. Say, yes. I said, tell me, who do you have anger to? With my father, with my parents. I said, wow. I said, no, 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 no. You gotta forget about it. You gotta forgive them. You got to forgive them. He said, How can I forget? I can't even talk to them. I said, Okay, I will go. I will go talk to your parents. I will go make the peace. I will do everything. And because he has he has hindrances. He has got hindrances. Upon hindrances, upon hindrances. And I said, the hindrances you are having comes as a result of you being anger. It's a result of you harboring anger. But he said to me, no, 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 no. I, I said, okay, I'm going to go and talk to your parents. I offered everything I could. He left. He didn't come at him. And up to today, he's still where he is. Amen? I'm waiting. He's going to, whenever he finish, he's going to still come back. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to shout a big amen. amen. So today, we can see the Bible say, lifting up holy hands without rats and doubting. That is it. As we lift up our holy hands. You know what? We're going to stop here. Amen? Amen? We are going to stop here. As we are going to lift up our holy hands. And before we do anything, please, four of you, come out straight away. We are not putting you and 